All right, guys, to start things off, we're gonna do jump rope mummy kicks. So what you wanna do here is I'm just up on my toes, and if you'll notice, I'm not really making that much of a motion. I'm just kicking my feet straight out. Very, very slight movement. And again, always remember on jump rope, keep the elbows in, the hands and the wrists should be jutting out to the sides of your hips. And if you notice, there's really not a whole lot of movement, and that's what the correct form for properly jumping rope. And also, if you don't, if you can't do some of these tricks, guys, just go ahead and do regular bounce. I'm more concerned with you just being able to jump rope. You're still gonna get the same benefit of, of doing it even if you can't with the tricks. Next up, we have high knees. Just make sure you're driving your knees up towards your waist. And if you'll notice too, I have my arms bent at 90 degree angles. And when I'm going back and forth on the side angle here, you'll see, just helps me go a little bit um, more in line with my body and also makes it a little bit more fluid. Good guys, five seconds left, here we go. All right, up next, jump rope regular bounce. So this is just the most basic form of jumping rope. And here, what I'm really concerned with is helping you guys get your form down. So notice my feet are coming about an inch off the ground. There's really not a whole lot of movement in my upper arms and in my biceps and shoulders. It's all that small range of motion that you see right there in that side angle of my wrist. So as you'll notice again, jumping rope properly, it's not a high impact thing and it's actually very beneficial for you. So make sure that you get the form down before anything else. All right, guys, up next, we have the slow squat. So feet about shoulder width apart. My heels, or sorry, my toes are slightly pointed outward from my heels, and I'm just slowly doing it. What you wanna do here is a three count, nice and slowly. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. There you go, good guys. Notice here my back is staying straight and my legs are coming parallel, sorry, my knees when I bend down are, the upper part of my leg is parallel to the ground and that's how low you want to go on any type of squat. Up next guys, jump rope mummy kicks again. So we're just gonna be toes out once again. Just skipping to the beat. And just to let you guys know, when I first started jumping rope, I could not go for more than 15 consecutive seconds. It was very frustrating, but with, a, you know, just like anything else with a little bit of practice, guys, jumping rope is one of the most beneficial exercises that you can do for agility, for losing body fat, for getting a lean and muscular physique, and just increasing your athleticism overall. So great workout. All right, guys, next up, side squat taps. So I'm just coming down into a normal squat, but if you'll see, this is a bit of a plyometric workout. So I am exploding at the top and slightly tapping my feet outward. So it doesn't have to be, I'm not holding it there. I'm using the momentum when I get to that peak of my explosion, I'm just tapping my feet and then going right back into the squat. See here again, normal squat, tap out, normal squat, tap out, normal squat, tap out. Very good, guys. All right, two more exercises, ladies. Gentlemen, stick with me here. Up next, again, just regular bounce. Let's work on that form. Very small range of motion. One thing I always tell people is that to be successful at jumping rope and to get better at it and to start to love it and have it challenge you, less is more. Don't think so much about, okay, the rope is coming over, now I must jump over it with my feet. Make sure that you're controlling the rope with your wrist so that it constantly stays tight. A big mistake people make is they let the rope go loose, it doesn't spin around as fast, they try to jump over it and it hits their feet. So control and think about your wrist, not your feet. Lastly, guys, squat pulse, one of my favorite exercises. This is an explosive exercise. And if you'll notice here, I never straighten my knees out the entire way. And when I'm coming up, very important here, notice how I come up on my heels here. So I'm not jumping off the ground, but I'm also not just staying flat-footed. I'm using that momentum to drive myself 
up through my toes and coming off my toes just slightly. 